How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Let's Play Dragon Fable series. And today let's go through the next part of the quest, Roots of Change. So from here onwards you will need to have this uh, weird helm equipped if you're a non-DA player or if you are a DA player you can just use the show option. Okay so non-DA players unfortunately do not have the show option. So yeah you'll need to have it equipped and if you're lucky enough to get the uh, max level non-DA version on your first try then good for you you can use that but for me uh who doesn't want to go ahead and farm for it then you can just straight up buy the cosmetic version at the end of the quest it is completely free and you won't need to uh, farm for it if you're not a DA player all right so let's go ahead and begin roots of change Hello Ern, Yix, please allow me to welcome you to Sword Haven. No offense your majesty, but some of your citizens already have, with spittle and unkind words. I can only apologize for the way you must have been treated. Under my father's rule and the proliferation of the rose, the worst of our tendencies have been allowed to fester in the hearts of our people. Mistrust, prejudice and hate, great motivators all, but cruel and decay to our souls. Or was Sword Haven always like this? Ahem. Uh, right, sorry. Um, Cersei tells me they have information on the new rose airship that has recently arrived in the city. That we do is coated with Trichil. And what exactly does this Trichil coating mean? What is it? Trichil is an Attila material. Mineral. Came with them when their city showed up before the whole rose fiasco. It's used to protect things from harmful magical radiation. Magical radiation? Such as what? Oh boy, so my experience with it also involved a ship. In that case, it was used to protect against the ambient magical weirdness of the void. The ambient weirdness is what the Ativa call radiation. Sounds dangerous. How did they even get their hands on enough tissue to coat their airship? The rose withdrew from a trailer after the proclamation wave was destroyed, didn't they? My understanding is that there were some debris that arrived at the city when it first appeared, some of which contained hefty tissue deposits, and the rose seems to have a way of finding what they want. Their goals then, does this mean they intend to travel into the void? Ah, perhaps I can be of help here, and hold me up please. I really need to finish making you that chassis. So you keep saying, anyway, your queen Linus, while the void is a possibility, the airship does not seem fitted for void sea travel. No, whatever the rose is doing, it's on this plane, on law, then that only leaves the fissure. I can only assume that the fissure exudes a large amount of magical energy that affects the areas immediately around it, which would therefore require a certain amount of protection. I, I see. Thank you for the information, Yiggs. Uh, if I may ask, what are your plans now? Do you have somewhere safe to stay? Well, Yiggs figured out whatever, figured whatever was going on with the airship and the rose probably wasn't good, since they had to bribe a bunch of gnomes to make it. And Earth had the bright idea of coming here to tell you, or whoever was in charge here, all about that. Didn't think much beyond that, honestly. Well then, if you like, you may stay here in the castle. As events develop, I'm sure I'll have much need of your expertise. Yeah, probably. A most generous offer, your queen leaders. I told her, I ordered her to stop investigating the fissure. That was part of bringing the alliance together. What do I do? The rose has been instrumental in rebuilding after the titans attack. I can't simply expel them from the city. Most of them live here too. With let's play DF Kara and the Golden Hand off in the Northlands, I could not oppose Jania by force, even if I wanted to. Is this why father let Jania do whatever she wanted? Did he have no choice? From what I have seen, there appears to have been a slight shift of rose troops southward under General Acanthus' command. So we don't know yet, but this guy standing right here is probably King Altion. However, all other obligations have been fulfilled as you requested. She's not even neglecting her duties then, just playing around them. I have to see if I can convince the nobles to provide less funding to the rose, slow down their progress, and once everyone comes back from the Northlands, maybe we can confront her. So Haven's broken, things need to change, and as queen, I can lead the charge. But is it right for me to use my position to go against what the people want, even if I know what they want is wrong? Father's answer to that question was quite clear. Cersei, please send a messenger to Falcon Reach. See if there are any displaced refugees in need of work. So Haven is rebuilding, and I will have it be rebuilt not by the Rose, but by all of Green Guard's people. It will be done. Okay, so she's trying to slowly cut back uh, the reliance on the Rose, so I guess she wouldn't feel that bad when it comes a day where she actually has to oppose them or drive them out or something like that. Looks like the Dragon Lords have kept themselves busy at least. <coughs> ah, finally, there you are. Took your time strolling through the ruins, did you? And what are those ridiculous helmets you're wearing? 
We have our own protection, Captain. We don't know what these spores might do. Hmm, and what of the Dragon Slayers? Report. A significant number of Dragon Slayers have survived. Those we found are escorting the wounded and weak along the path we cleared. We've learned about the Hollow, that is. The fungal foes as well. It will appear that they are a product of the fungus. That's all. Well, I suppose there's a lot to ask from Dragon Slayers to be more observant. A lot to ask? Do you have any idea of the nightmare we've been through trying to protect the townspeople? Clearly, we've managed to establish an encampment here after all. We've encountered some fierce resistance. How did you and the Dragon Lords fare, Captain? These hollow, as you call them, were no match for us. As you can see, we've established a perimeter and are setting up camp. Our dragons are working on opening up the area above us to the sky for area access and supply transportation. What's the next step then? The Dragon Lords will continue to secure the area and expand the perimeter. The more we can bring back under our control, the safer it will be. The Dragon Slayers will continue searching for any survivors. They know this area better than us after all. Considering their difficulties in combat, get on off, you will rejoin and accompany them. Very well. Let's play the idea and your alliance will be our spear point. We need to find out where the hollow come from. Specifically, you will begin heading toward the main stock in the center of the city. Our scouts say that... Oh, oh no, hold on to something everyone. What is happening? Explain. Now. The fungus, it's... Sound effects are really cool, I just wanna say that. <coughs> and of course, even though it sprouted like literally 2 meters away from them, or not even 2 meters, some of them literally less than a meter away from them, they all still managed to remain standing for some odd reason, but okay. By the Avatars, when we heard about the fungus erupting overnight, I didn't imagine it would be this this quick. This had have to have been intentional. Whatever's below us know we are here. What are those strange groves? It seems almost like... Yeah, something right out of the alien movie. That's your answer, Captain. To arms, defend the camp. Okay, so here I'm going to play safer. And by that I'm going to start with defend. Okay, uh... Previously I used the ninja class to clear the boss. I'm gonna see if I can clear it with tech uh clear this quest with Technomancer. Don't know how difficult it will be but worth a shot I guess. Okay, so I'm going to do static and then we'll do talk and then we'll do static again. Ooh, ice L. Hold on a minute. Okay. So it's resistant to fire. Alright! Wow. Now they're gonna mix up the the resistances, okay. Yeah, it's gonna make it a lot tougher. Okay, okay. Uh we still have a turn. Oh no, we don't anymore. Okay, mischief. Fun? No, didn't work. Okay. Yikes. Okay, uh, so on this guy, they should do it, right? Oh, come on, 35 HP left, really? Ah, oh, man. Static again. Oh, 458, that's pretty nice. Come on. Ah, 11 HP, okay. So focus on the last guy, he wants light, right? Okay, so hit him with light. Uh we'll do this. I need peace die. Yep, there we go. Alright, next. Hollow humans. Okay, we go fire again. So instead of static, because there's only two enemies, I'm gonna go ahead and do talk and shoot up sword. That should take out one guy, I think. Yeah, sword will definitely take out this guy. What about the other guy though? 680, okay. Let's not waste time on that. Oh wait, okay, we could have done it on the other guy. Yeah, that might have been better. Stun? Nope. They make these guys immune to stun. 
Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. So you can see, uh, book 3 is shaping up to be pretty difficult. Even, uh, for especially if you're NDA player and if you're like new and stuff, yeah. So I really would not recommend anyone to start with book 3. Like, these enemies are not easy at all. And I say that even as someone who is, you know, who has been playing the game for a long, long time and knows exactly what to do. So, yeah. No oh, good. Okay. And use fire. Oh, we do get a full heal. Okay, fine. I didn't notice that. Okay, full heal is nice. Much needed. Yeah, so you can't rely on stunts anymore. Not, uh, not even in story, which makes things a lot tougher for considering this is like story is supposed to be for casuals and all that. 39 Oh come on, it's gonna survive, damn it. No my god, these guys hit hard. And this is even with Ultra Omni Knight Blade as well as the Wings of the Thousand Flames, which is quite crazy. Considering you get 25 all resists already with the with these alone and a typical casual player would usually not bother to go and farm for these items before doing like the story part so yeah you can imagine how tough it is for them dang nice hurry up let's get these uh, get these mushrooms out of my camp okay holo dragon slayer this is a tough guy isn't it uh okay. what is he weak to fire okay let's do fire <coughs> Okay, nice. This guy doesn't have as much health as the previous uh, like mini boss that we faced in the last quest. So this should be a lot easier. Okay, nice. I could do drill bit, but I don't think we need that. Oh, I think it would have resisted anyway. Oh my god, and the dot is just crazy. Yeah, it would have resisted anyway. 100 immobility. Nice. Follow human. What? No. No heal? Okay. Yeah, that's why I say always play defensively. So, book 3, you can't really afford to go full out offense and you know expect to kill the enemy before they can touch uh before they can do much damage to you you really gotta play defensive for book three i mean of course if you take your time to go through the side stories to slowly get and farm for other gear and all that then you know it's not a big deal uh you probably won't struggle as much but you know, if you don't do that, then you'll probably struggle quite a bit. Oh my god. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Right. Do get a full heal. I don't think we'll be able to do this. Yeah, I think we'll need ninja again. Damn it. <laughs> I do think we need ninja again. Yeah, so previously we weren't even able to beat this guy solo. So now that there's a trio of them, man, I don't even know if Ninja will be able to get past this, to be very honest. This is quite crazy. Uh, I'm gonna do static first. Okay, crits on the two minions, that's very good. Oh man, does he regenerate the minions? I hope not. I don't think he does, right? The dots from the Dragon Slayer, that's what really hurts. It, it, it essentially doubles his damage. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, it's crazy. 512. I don't think we'll have enough. Let me see. I kind of don't want to waste Force Sword, but if I don't take him down. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use Force Sword. Bit of a waste, but it wouldn't have killed this guy either, so yeah. Okay, let's hope we get some juicy crits from Grenade. 
Oh my god, Hollow Gorge. Please. Nice. Oh my god, not enough. Yeah. Damn it. Oh man, the dot. The dot is really killing me. At least we can shield again the next turn. Nice. Okay, so this guy, uh, follow familiarity. He's got some avoidance. Okay. Ah, the dot really hurts. Jeez. I'm gonna shield. I'm gonna shield the dragon. Uh, drill bit's not gonna do much. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Oh, and the hollow familiarity helps with him dodging our attacks too. That is not great. Okay, what do we do now? 10 avoidance. How often does he increase his avoidance? I don't know, but whatever. Uh, overload. I think I have to do vent heat the next turn. So you don't run out of MP. Oh man. Vent. Oh! Are you kidding me? 14 bonus. 42. Oh wow, okay, his avoidance is getting higher and higher. That's not good. That is not good at all. Oh, it's gonna be tight. Very, very tight. Okay. Ah, uh, hollow gouge again. Overload. At least I can do barrier again the next turn. Oh, nice crit. Okay, that really helps. Please do not do the dot. Ah, uh, that's a damn dot. Okay, barrier. Hmm, hollow gouge is gonna last one more turn. Shall we heal? Or shall we try and go for the win? No, I think we have to heal. Wow, damage this guy does is just too crazy. Shall I go for another heal? I think we do. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, talk and sword should finish him off. I think we will be able to survive. Talk. Ah, of course it misses. Sword should kill him. Oh my god. He is so close. 57. Yep, okay. There's a guaranteed hit. Alright, nice. Whew, that was close. Freaking close, but we did it. Nice. First try to. The speed, the precision, simply fascinating. I wish I could share enthusiasm about killer mushrooms. Is everyone doing okay? Well, for I, I can see now why establishing a foothold here could prove problematic. You, Dragon Slayer, Court, sir. Court, how often does something like this occur? Um, it's hard to say. It's the first time I've seen one in person. A lot of the time, they come through inside buildings or dark, other dark places. Perhaps whoever is below thinks of us as a major threat then, as it should. What do you mean below? The main mass of the fungus seems to be below the city, below the ice. You didn't think that was relevant before? I recall being told that advice was not needed from the likes of me. It seems to me that we must travel under the city. Is there any way below? Not near any of the new growth, but maybe near the main stock, but that's sure to be the most dangerous part of the city. That's the next target then. The alliance will push for the main stock and see what they can find. Call once the rest of the Dragon Slayers return, start scouring for any more survivors. If these things are just popping up everywhere... I think not, Galanov. I'm the captain here and I'll be giving the orders. The Dragon Slayer shall stay here and help us secure the camp. Once that is finished and the dragons burn through the top, we'll see about setting up a supply line in the wake of the Alliance. Understood, Captain. Of course, Captain Snappy Pants gets to make the order. Alright. Here we see Seppy. Okay. The Great Sepulcher, undecided and at a disadvantage. What a pleasure. And being sarcastic as always. Is there something you require? Did Wallach tell you what happened to me? Emotions, crushing denial, burn to the core. Are you still in pain? What a question. Mentally, yes, there is a storm inside my head, a storm of past deeds and foolish thoughts. Wallach calls it guilt. Hmm. But as for my physical form, I am no longer in constant agony. Sometimes, I remember the excruciating and eternal pain, but even those memories have begun to fade. What do you want from me? Both you and Wallach are delaying your actions, delaying your inevitable return to Sword Haven. What's your excuse? I am waiting for the right. 
You are afraid, just as Warlick is. <clears throat> I fear nothing. You fear a Cantus. You are afraid that if you confront him again, even with the blue mage at your side, you will not return. That you will not return home for your daughter. I am waiting for Warlick to prepare, and Warlick has his own fears paralyzing him. He's just spending his time meditating, meditating, even at the potential fate of law and the balance with Gravelin's fate. We both would rather do nothing and let Acanthus win than act and potentially do the wrong thing. And what are you doing in all of this? You speak of guilt and pain and fear, but all I see you doing is warming the furniture and giving you a push, aren't I? The sepulture I followed would not be stopped by petty things such as mistakes or uncertainty. Uh, that's a pep talk. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of that. What do we get here? Frozen fungal fiber. Gonna pass this up. And that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.